Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Glorify you, Jesus. Glorify you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Today, Holy Catholic Church is celebrating the feast of the Holy Family and wish you all a very happy feast. And we know that family is the first institution from God. After creating the entire universe and human beings, God saw that everything was good and He said everything is good. And He said one thing is not good. It is not good for man to be alone. It was not good for man to be alone. And He created a woman for man. And He blessed him. He said, Be fruitful. Be fruitful and conquer the world. And by blessing him to be fruitful, he instituted family before any other kinds of institutions, before instituting any sacraments, he instituted family because family is very, very important in the eyes of the Lord. Family is very important. And he has created us in such a way that we have to grow in families. Each and every human beings have to grow in families. That is the way God has created us. We are social animals. We cannot live alone. It's not possible for us to live alone. We have to grow in families for a complete and mature growth. A total growth of a human being. But we know that in today's world, the first thing Satan strikes is family. Families are stricken down. The new age uh, definitions of families are totally contrary to the real and true meaning of family life. Single parenthood, only a man with a child, only a mother with a child sometimes. Same-sex relationships and they are adopting children and they say that they are families. Even those who do not marry and those who do not have physical relationship with anyone, they are adopting children and having families and they say they are families. These are the new age families or new age defini definitions for families. And there are families with uh, uh, one mother and two fathers. And the child is totally confused, or one father or two, two mothers, and then again, child is very confused. New age definitions for families. They are destroying the true uh, nature of family. They are destroying the true intention which God was intending for families. Family life is totally challenged in today's world, and that is why. The faith is challenged. The Christian faith is challenged. The children, those who grow up in those families, they truly do not know who Christ is. They are not able to come to church. They are not able to pray. They are not able to trust in God. And even in well-established families, proper families, there was a time where families were striving together. All the family members were striving together for holiness, to become holy families. But now the focus is changed. The intentions are changed. Now people are striving together to become prosperous, to become wealthy, to become influential, to become more important in the societies. And they forget about holiness. They forget about having God in their families. Holy family became holy family because Jesus was there in the family. In today's gospel passage we have heard, they were striving together to protect Jesus. Holy family became holy family because there was Jesus in their hearts, in the hearts of St. Joseph and Mother Mary. First, 
Jesus was born in their hearts, in the heart of Saint Joseph and Mother Mary. And they were ready to protect him, even at the cost of their lives. They had divine interventions in their lives and in their families. They were holy enough to understand and discern the divine interventions. They were holy enough to move immediately according to the divine interventions. Even if we have some divine interventions, we will doubt. For sure we will doubt and we will wait for the signs. We will wait for the wonders to happen in our lives so that we are, we are quite sure about the divine interventions. Of course, the divine inter interventions were not happy incidents. They were not quite joyful. They had to take a long journey to Egypt, a pagan country. They were ready to do that. They were ready to take a long journey to Egypt with Christ. <coughs> and they had to come back again to their own homeland. And sometimes they were afraid, afraid uh, of losing their lives. Herod was about to kill them. He had killed all the children, those who were born, those who were below two in Bethlehem. So they had to run, they had to be worried, they had to be uh, intentions. But still, they trusted in the divine interventions. And they never thought to become uh, influential, they never thought to become uh, super rich people, they never thought to become uh, someone great. They wanted to be simple and humble people, we know that. Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, they remained as simple and humble village people. Mother Mary was a village girl. Saint Joseph was a uh, carpenter. Or in the, in the Greek text, uh, the Greek Bible, he says, Saint Joseph was a tecton. Tecton means um, a skilled labor who is skilled in everything, not only in the carpentry, um, stoneworks, buildings, and so on. So he was a skilled labor. And they remained as that, my dear brothers and sisters. The greatness of our families lies in uh, becoming holy, becoming holy families. And all the family members should strive together to become holy families. And we have to be aware that Satan is striking, he's striking all the families in the world. And he is trying to change the definition of families. But we have to know that which is God intended, intended definition of families. And why God has created families. It is to strive together for holiness. It is to have Christ in our hearts. It is to have Christ in our families. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be there in the midst of them. Is Jesus. Is Jesus there in our families? It's very important to think about it and examine our lives. May Almighty God bless us. Amen.